Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. Today we have another really exciting news from Toyota because they dropped a sneak photo of what's coming ahead. It looks like a large SUV and they haven't told us too much, but I have been able to decipher this photo to tell you exactly what is happening. Something that other social media seems to have missed. And that is because if you take this uh, sneak photo from Toyota and play around with it, with the contrast and the brightness, you can see a hidden message that many people have missed. And with that message, we know for sure that this photo is in fact the upcoming 2023 Toyota Sequoia. And if you have been following my channel for a while, I have been talking about the 2023 Sequoia for a while. So there's a lot that we already know. But as soon as I received this photo, I played around with it in the Photoshop and came up with this revised rendering of what the new Sequoia might look like. And of course, I've done some other renderings in the past, but those are probably a little bit outdated now because this new teaser image from Toyota is a much more accurate version of what we have been speculating so far. So let me walk you through all about 2023 Toyota Sequoia and highlight five things you should know about what's coming ahead with this new amazing SUV. So the very first thing I want to show you is the improved rendering based on this sneak photo from Toyota. So this is all we got from the press release, which is the rear quarter view of this uh, Sequoia. And then from this, I worked on it to come up with a rendering that can give you a much better perspective of what the entire Sequoia could look like. Now, because of lack of time and quick turnaround I wanted to do, my apology for not being able to completely finish the rendering, but at least you get a pretty good feel for what the Sequoia look like uh, based on this rear view. And uh, because of the work I did, hopefully you can get a much better understanding of uh, what the Sequoia should look like. I'm going to continue to work on this rendering, but I do have renderings I've done previously which will give you a pretty good feel for what the front might look like. You can let me know which of these you like better. Uh, but I'm very confident of the rear three-quarter view uh, because of this new sneak photo that Toyota has dropped for us. Now let's go back to the original press release from Toyota which said the next big thing from Toyota is on the horizon. And he says, something big is coming to the Toyota SUV lineup. A clear picture will be revealed soon. So uh, it's quite interesting in the sense that uh, they have made it very clear that it's coming very soon, which I interpreted as next couple of weeks. And the next part is a big surprise, and I think a lot of people missed that. I played around with the brightness and the contrast, and suddenly you can see a hidden message on the bottom left corner of this image from Toyota. And this is something that is revealing because it's a 100% guarantee based on this message that this sneak photo is indeed about the Sequoia and not about Grand Highlander or some other SUV. And the hidden message says, all new debut, the forest and its trees almost in view. And because the word sequoia refers to type of tree in California of the cypress family, uh, we know for sure with this uh, wording or phrase that they're referring exactly to the sequoia that's coming up. It's interesting that Toyota marketing people seems to have some sense of humor because the phrase is referring to the adage that you can't see forest for the trees. In other words, if you only look at the trees, you might not see what's actually hidden or revealing behind the trees. So they're saying basically, hey, if you only look at what's in front of you, which is the image of this SUV, then you miss the whole point, which is the actual hint on the bottom left. So really quite interesting play on word. Now let's get back to the five things that you should know about this new Sequoia. And the first one is something that we have been talking about, which is that uh, new Sequoia will share the platform with 
three other models within Toyota. They are all part of the TNGA F platform, often referred to as the F1 platform for short, and that includes the Land Cruiser, the new Lexus LX, of course the current uh, Tundra for 2022, and then this soon to arrive 2023 Toyota Sequoia. Now other future models will also be based on TNGA-F platform, that includes the upcoming Toyota 4Runner, which should arrive sometime late this year, although it could be delayed. Those are things that we're still trying to figure out. And then the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma, which is arriving next calendar year in 2023 as a 2024 model year. And let's not forget the Lexus GX, which is sold as the Toyota Prado in Japan. They will also share the platform with the 4Runner. Uh, and Tacoma. So these ones are slightly smaller than the larger trucks that we've seen so far. So they are going to share the same TNGAF platform but in a slightly smaller scale. The second thing to keep in mind about the new Sequoia is that it's going to share more than just the platform with the Tundra because it's also going to share the engine and the transmission. Specifically, the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 powertrain will be shared uh, from Tundra to the Sequoia. In fact, even the Land Cruiser and the Lexus LX are using the same engine. Now, the big question is, would the Sequoia come with the non-hybrid version of the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 first, followed by the hybrid like the Tundra, or would it only offer the uh, non-hybrid or only offer the hybrid? I have a strong intuition that maybe for the Sequoia, they will exclusively offer the hybrid, mainly because the uh, Sequoia is bigger and heavier than the Tundra. And as you can see in the recent pattern of Toyota only offering hybrid on some of the higher end models, such as the Toyota Venza and also even the Sienna only comes in hybrid. So my bet is that uh, Sequoia might only come with a hybrid and skip the base 3.5 twin turbo v6 obviously we won't know that for a little while longer um, but that'll be really interesting if they do that because it'll be a simplified model lineup and it would uh, make sense because of the heavier weight and the power that's required to move the new sequoia the third point is something i have brought up before and that is the sequoia plays a very important role to basically replace what the Land Cruiser used to be. Uh, as you know, the Land Cruiser 300 is no longer available in the North American market, and therefore there is a void or a gap that needs to be filled by the Sequoia. Uh, the Land Cruiser never sold very well because it was just way too expensive. So if they price the Sequoia between the Tundra and where Land Cruiser used to be, and that's a sweet spot because it's much cheaper than the Land Cruiser, uh, more expensive than Tundra of course, but still quite affordable for those people who are looking for a high-end SUV. And so again, this is an important point to remember that the new Sequoia have to have the capability uh, of the off-roading, of the luxury feel, all the things that you expect from a Land Cruiser, but in a different package at a lower price point in the form of the Sequoia. So it should offer a lot more than what you expect from something like Tundra, which is still a pickup truck, and the Sequoia perhaps will offer also more higher-end uh, luxury features such as upgraded interior, although the Tundra is pretty nice already. Uh, perhaps we might even get, uh, finally, the automatic four-wheel drive, which was never offered in a Tundra Sequoia before, uh, because all the competitors of a three-row large SUV have all-wheel drive. So at the very least, uh, Sequoia needs to offer that. So that's something we will have to wait and see. The fourth point is that the Sequoia is going to be produced in the San Antonio, Texas factory along with the new Tundra. So it's moving away from Indiana factory where it was produced before uh, to move over to Texas and then in, in turn the Tacoma is moving away from Texas to the Mexican factory. There's two of them in fact that produce the uh, Tacoma there. So that's something to keep in mind and it also shows how much closer the Sequoia is going to be to Tundra uh, and that's why they have to be and they can be produced in the same line. 
The fifth point about the new Sequoia is that we're going to get to see this very, very soon because according to press release, uh, it will be revealed soon and therefore it's probably next couple of weeks. I suspect that maybe end of the month or early February is when Toyota will drop full photos and spec on the new Sequoia and that kind of makes sense because then you'll be ramped up and ready for spring purchase. I think the Toyota PR folks and also the marketing people have learned lessons from the Tundra reveal when it took too long to show that truck. So I think that's why they're showing it pretty early this time and it's not going to be like uh, you know 10 20 uh, sneak photos before leading to the actual launch. I think this sneak photo we saw today is probably it and then in a couple of weeks I think we're going to see the real thing. So we're very excited about that and hopefully it's going to arrive very soon because uh, even though I've purchased the 2022 Toyota Tundra, if I like the Sequoia enough I will trade that up to the Sequoia perhaps this fall. So all of us are looking forward to it. Now there's a lot more than the five things I wanted to point out about the Sequoia. But the video is getting a bit long now, so I'm going to end it here and then we can talk more about the Sequoia as uh, more information becomes available. Uh, but until then, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you later.